Okay, on to the quotient rule. Now remember the product rule, when you multiply two things that have the same base, you just add the exponents. So logically, when you divide two things of the same base, you subtract the exponents. Top one, take away bottom one. Numerator, take away denominator. There's the rule. Look at this here. Look at the example here. 5 to the power 8 divided by 5 to the power 4. If you subtract 8, take away 4, you'll get 4. Here's a bit of a better explanation. Here we go. x to the power 5 over x to the power 2. Well, it should be x to the power 3, shouldn't it? 5 take away 2 is 3. But here's the explanation. Here's x to the power 5. Okay, x times x times x times x times x. Five of them. Okay, here's x squared. Just two of them. Okay. Now look, you're dividing, okay? What's x divided by x? What's anything divided by itself? It's 1. You can say for this one, it cancels. You can write a 1 there, but 1 times anything is not going to change anything. Okay, it's the identity, remember. Here's another x over x. That's cancelled. Oh, and look what's left. Three of them on the numerator. All right, the answer is x cubed. You should have learned that in 060, okay? Now, what we're going to do now for, for later on is, uh, and I'll just introduce it right now, is um, what if it's a bigger exponent uh, on the bottom, okay? So, supposing I do this, okay? Do the way around. x squared divided by x to the fifth. Well, logically, okay, if the same rules, subtract 2 take away 5. What's 2 take away 5? That is negative 3. Okay? And that's fine. That's okay. Um, the thing is, is, we don't get you to write the answer with negative exponents. But we will be coming to that uh, later. I, mean, I suppose I could introduce it right now. Uh, think about this. x times x. There's your x squared on the top. A 1, a 2, a three, I'll try and do as quick as I can, an x five on the bottom, a four, a five. Okay, so here we go. Um, that one can cancel with that one. Uh, that one can cancel with that one. Now notice we've still got three left, but they're on the denominator. All right. Now you can't just write this as kind of like this. Here we go. X cubed is left on the denominator. Well, what's on the numerator? Well, again, think about it. What's anything divided by itself? X divided by X, remember, is 1. X divided by X is 1. Always leave a 1. If you think there's nothing left there, you think you've cancelled everything, it's got to be a 1. So what I'm trying to get out of this is that that is exactly the same as that. All right, because we are going to be dealing with negative exponents in the next uh, section. Okay, these two are the same. Okay, but we'll go to more explanations about that later. Okay.